Well, hello, my friends. Have you ever had a time in your life when you really believed you were in the will of God and instead of things getting better, things got worse? Well, this is what happened to Moses. You see, God had to convince him. He didn't want to lead the people out of Egypt, but God convinced him. And so he went to Pharaoh and Pharaoh, instead of listening to him, and he put heavier tasks upon the people of Israel. And the people of Israel began to complain. And Moses is saying, why, God, I thought you were going to deliver them. In chapter number 5, verse 22 and verse 23, it says, Then Moses turned to the Lord and said, O Lord, why have you done evil to this people? Why did you ever send me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has done evil to this people, and you have not delivered your people at all. Moses had seen the burning bush. He'd seen the staff turn to a snake and his hand become leprous. He'd seen miracles that God had done for him. And so he, he believed that, that everything was going to go fine. But let me say, my friends, oftentimes things are going to get worse before they get better. You ever done some remodeling of a house or, and, and, or maybe fixing up your yard? And oftentimes things get worse before they get better. And we must realize that just because we're in the will of God, just because we're following after what he's called us to do and told us to do, doesn't mean that we're going to be free of problems. Because oftentimes things get worse before they get better. We just must know that we are in his will. Moses had to continue to focus uh, on God's call in his life. He had to continue to focus on what he'd heard and, and what he'd seen. Even though the circumstances around him seem to be pretty bleak. And I say to you, friends, that things oftentimes might get bleak. When you know you've heard from God, you know you're in the will of God, you know you're doing what's right, then oftentimes things get worse. Maybe you've been praying for someone and praying that they'll change or they'll give the heart to the Lord. And, and sometimes they get worse before they get better. Well, anyway... Just stay the course. Continue to follow after the Lord. Things will get better. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.